just got back from Walt Disney World and we had such a great time. We stayed at the Walt Disney World Swan Resort and I just can't wait to tell you all about it. You have so many hotel choices at Disney World, but if location, perks, and price are important to you, the Swan should definitely be on your short list. So we stayed at the Swan for three nights. We had two rooms, one for grandma and one for my husband and me and my two boys who are three and seven. And overall, we really enjoyed our stay at the resort. We felt it was a good value and the rooms and facilities were really clean and bright. The pools were nice. It was a windy day, so there was some debris, but overall it was great. And I had not stayed here before, but my mother-in-law had in the past and said that the hotels have really benefited from that renovation they got in 2017. So we stayed at the Swan. Right next door is the Dolphin. And then also right next door on the other side is the Swan Reserve. The Swan Reserve is new as of 2018, but they were all lovely. And I'm really happy overall with our stay. Our room was on the fourth floor in what they called a family room. It was a very comfortable size for two adults and two young children. Lots of windows and seating areas, and we had a balcony. My favorite part of the room, however, was its location and its view. So we were all the way at the end of this hallway, and we only had neighbors on one side of us. And we looked over at the Dolphin Hotel, which was very lovely. Some people might not want to look at a hotel, but I thought it was great. And then we also had a nice view of the lagoon down below and the pool areas off to the left and the water taxi loading area in front, which meant we could keep an eye on the line in the mornings, which was pretty helpful. So when you walk in, there's this big seating area that folds out into a queen size bed for the kids. Then there's the king size bed for the adults. There's a bathroom. There's two separate sink areas. So one on the outside. And then when you open the door, you can see the other sink area on the inside. And of course, there is a toilet and a lovely shower. There were two shower heads. And then the closet, of course, which I'll show a picture of in a minute. And then back over to see the view and a water taxi pulling in, which was just so cool. So here's the closet. I just felt it was too small, could have been bigger, but there was a large dresser in the other room with lots of drawers, so that was helpful. And here's another picture of the bathrooms, especially that outside sink. It was really nice to have two separate areas. And here's a gratuitous cute kids pic of them building a pillow fort the second we got into the room, of course. And lastly, here is my view when I woke up in the morning. Not too shabby. We also had a chance to enjoy the pools on our first day. We visited the Grotto Pool, which is the large pool that guests of all three hotels can use. It was really lovely ambiance. There's a small water slide for ages four and up. My oldest son went on it like 11 times, so fun. You can also order food and drink right from your pool chair and they'll bring it to you. I had this amazing, delicious froze. Highly recommend, not too sweet, 10 out of 10 especially for a hot day. And I'm just so glad we got some time at the pools. It rounds out a Disney World vacation. Next, let's talk perks. First, this hotel has a great location. The Swan, Dolphin, and Swan Reserve are all within walking distance of two parks, Disney's Hollywood Studios and Epcot. You can also easily walk to Disney's Beach and Yacht Club Resorts, which we did one night, or to Disney's Boardwalk Inn. So when you factor in the great location and then you compare the cost of the Swan Dolphin or Swan Reserve to a Disney resort with a similar location or transportation options, it's a total steal. It's like half the cost of a Disney Deluxe Resort. And that's because they're actually Marriott locations. They're not Disney resorts, even though they are on Disney World property. So that also means you can book this property with Marriott points. The Swan, Dolphin, and Swan Reserve are also considered good neighbor hotels, which means you can take advantage of some of the perks of a Disney Deluxe Resort. For example, we got 
early theme park entry and extended magic hours, both of which allowed us to spend extra time in the parks with a reduced crowd. This is not available on all days at every park, so you'll have to do some searching to figure out when that's available, but it was a great perk. Also, full disclosure, we did not eat at any of the restaurants at the Swan, Dolphin, or Swan Reserve. They do have some great spots, Il Molino, Shula's Steakhouse, Todd English's Blue Zoo, just to name a few. But I'm still trying to get to all those Disney Resort and theme park restaurants. So once I do that, then I'll get back to the Swan and Dolphin. A potential drawback of staying at these resorts is that they're not heavily themed. So if you're looking for full Disney immersion, I would look elsewhere. But If, on the other hand, you're looking to escape some of the magic for a short bit of time, these would be a great place to stay. It just depends on what you're looking for. That pretty much wraps up my review of the Walt Disney World Swan Resort. If you're looking for a good deal with a great location and good transportation options, I highly recommend staying here. Shoot me questions on social media at Madding Travel Concierge or email me at maddingtravel at gmail.com. If you're looking to book a Disney World vacation, please reach out to us at maddingtravel.com or again at maddingtravel at gmail.com. We'd love to help you. Please follow to keep an eye out for more content coming soon, including reviews of the Disney World theme parks we visited, the food we ate there, Yachtsman Steakhouse, and Boma. Happy travels until next time.